Well, man, Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another episode of the Browns on the Moon, right here on Madden 17. If you missed any of the other episodes, they are available on the channel in the playlist. Of course, it's season two. We uh, starting. We started season two in our last episode. Well, actually, technically, our first uh, game of season two. Anyway, we got all these guys out. We got Coleman out. Uh, Corey Coleman's out for uh, five weeks with a hamstring tear, foot fracture. Everybody's got foot fractures and ruptured discs here for the most part. Shoulder tear. Uh, yeah, we got that going on, folks, but that's not going to stop us. Let's get into the game. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. What a game we have for you here. The first meeting of the year between two of the NFL's most hostile divisional rivals. This matchup always among the most anticipated games of the regular season. It's the Browns going up against the Steelers. So with that, let's get up to Highlands Field in Pittsburgh. On the call, here are Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. Remember, folks, we only play offense only in this uh, series. This offense gets set to take over. Let's see what we got going on here. Peterson alone in the backfield. And he'll get it up the middle. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. And Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives. And I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back. And now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to Dak had nowhere to run or nowhere to throw. Kicks in and those guys take care of business. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there'll be designed runs as well as his scrambles. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roll free and brings up fourth down. And now here's a man who punted collegially in this stadium for the Pitt Panthers, Andy Lee, to kick it away. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They're led onto the field by a man who... They see the Steelers, folks. The Steelers are going to get a touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go! A first down throw for Prescott. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Go. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And his throw is incomplete. Adrian Peterson was the intended target, and it's third down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks well. and the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And it's complete to Kelsey. 
A really nice gain of 25 yards. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just Here we go, on folks. catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra at the end with a short run. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Come on, let's go! They run again on first down, Peterson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Prescott now on second down. He's got a rifle one deep left side. Incomplete. So attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. It's going to be holding against the offense. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for holding. Right, here here comes play number six on this drive. The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they have a DB. To throw is Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. Travis Kelsey, the pro ball tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Oh, he... And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. I absolutely hate that meter, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate that meter. Steelers still alive. Big Ben rushed. And they kicked the field goal. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. One quarter down, 10-zip our score. More from the Steel City coming up after this. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Come on, let's go! A second down throw for Prescott. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. They brought him in off the corner, and he gets in to drop him for a loss of four. Ohio! 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 Here we go. On third down, it's Prescott. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across so Here we go, folks. Travis line. Kelsey. Peterson can't get anywhere. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second down, Prescott. He's got a rifle one deep left side. Oh, it's picked off. Here it's intercepted. Picked off by Captain Merrill. Offense gets set to take over. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? <laughs> in memory, they need to keep where they miss. Then they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other five. You can't get that back. 
Welcome back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Here we go. They go play action here on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. There's our rookie, Mincy. Because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. They'll come out in the pistol. Single, 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 single. On play action, Prescott. A heavy rush, and down he goes. Holding offense. Come on. After the penalty, the offense now dealing with a third and 19. So we're this far to go. Maybe they try something safe underneath. Third and long for Prescott. Buying time to his left. And he's got some space here. And he'll get it down to the We're going for it, folks. Here. I am not playing. On the so here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Come on, Kelsey. They punted it. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. Gary Barnage back in there now for Travis Kelsey on that play. That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down. Or to have the defense to hurt. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. Oh, and there goes Prescott again. So Kelsey back in. Defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. And you bring pressure from all angles. Kelsey caught it. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. And off comes to Peterson. We gotta go for it. Fifty percent on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Here we go. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott, and he's got Fitzgerald. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're able to pick. My man, Larry Fitzgerald. Fourth down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But there you go, folks. He's by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on, or they're trying. To oh no! He fumbled the football. Ooh, man. This Steelers defense is amount of me to steal curtain, folks. You can't get anything going with these guys. Come on, Fitzgerald. I expect more out of you than that. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. Come on, let's go! 
They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott, forced out to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Come on, let's go! Final play of the half, Prescott looking downfield for Kelsey. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Let's, let's see Thanks, Larry. Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Steelers will look to keep the pressure on in the second half. The Browns are vulnerable right now, coming off a rough game a week ago and still not really finding a way to get back on track. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Browns with the ball early in the second. They're going to get to the QB once again. This goes for a loss of four. Later on the drive, Prescott's on point with the pass across the middle. And the pass and catch will end up going for 31 yards. Browns will later turn it over on an interception. First and ten, they're going to come away with another sack here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. So that'll bring our halftime report to a close. We'll go back now to Heinz Field for the start of the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter. So, folks, I got to tell you, when it comes to halftime reports, I love Larry Ridley, and a halftime report on Madden 17 more so than I have uh, here as of late uh, with uh, the coach, Jonathan Coachman, who gives you uh, stylistics and analysis around the league, but doesn't give you the actual uh, doesn't give you the actual. Uh, low down of what's going on with the, the game here in particular. So I really like that. I don't know about y'all, but I love that Larry Ridley halftime report more than I do any other halftime report that Madden has had over the uh, last few years. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. And quickly they get to the line. Here we go! Oh, fudge me. Good gravy. Oh no, we didn't get it. Oh my gosh, folks. They got another touchdown coming, folks. Incoming touchdown here. Yep, incoming touchdown. Offense gets set to take over. Let's go! They go play action here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. Larry Fitzgerald dropped it? What? Come on, Fitzgerald. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to have that one in. On second down, Prescott again. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to AP out of the backfield. And now it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion. I'm telling you, this team has no rhythm. Someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. 
On third down, it's Prescott. And that's Kelsey. Kelsey. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's fourth down. So the defense forces a three and out, but they got some help along the way. I don't care, folks. We got to go for it. We need points, and we need points in a big way. Oh, come on! Bumbo recovered by the Browns. Good gravy. A place like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or moved away from them. In this case, though, the teammate is able to come up with the ball. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the field. Come on, man! Oh, shut your mouth, Brandon Gotten, you jerk. Get the score right. It's not 7 nothing, you goof. So as I said before earlier, this team has no rhythm. Prescott cannot get anything. We cannot, we cannot get anything going here against the Steelers. No gain, my Still foot. Leading ten yards, second down. There we go, D. That's the They're going to hurry back to the line now. Come on, let's go. Right to the second down, Prescott. Why aren't you there, Fitzgerald? So, back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set. Oh, screw you, Gotten. one-sided affair. So here we go now. An extra here defensive back in there on third and ten. Here's Prescott. Come on! He goes down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. And of course, sure, the first down. Go ahead, get another touchdown, Steelers. AP catches that one, folks. Why couldn't we have gotten one of those earlier in the game? And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet. Kelsey drops it again. Good freaking gravy. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. 
Again, we'll see the pistol here. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself. Kelsey misses it again. Come on, Kelsey. was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Surveying the field. He's got Come on, Fitzgerald. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped. Oh my gosh. Why? About time, Fitzgerald. They got 29 yards About time, time, Fitzgerald. Gee, many go. good gravy. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They Let's see what the coach says. Four minute offense. I'm going with that one. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Another pistol look here. here. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Last week, as you get a look at some of the numbers, he just wasn't in the mix. Oh, come on! There's a fumble recovered by the Browns. That's something we needed. After the fumble recovery. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget to go. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo going forward. Exactly. We'll take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. Obviously, a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big game to boot. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Like they're doubling up on Fitzgerald. Sometimes it looks pretty simple batting the ball away. But oftentimes there's some pretty good teaching and practice that goes into it. Being able to get to the receiver, not interfere, and get his hands through the football and knock it away. Second down throw for Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack it for a loss of nine. Second down sacked by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. Third and long for Prescott. And he took the contact as he was throwing 
it. And the ball drops in completely. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him, that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there. That's winning football. Let's go! Spread 38! Prescott to throw on forward. Dancing to his left. Now this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this Folks, this team has no rhythm. I'm telling you that right now. This team has no rhythm at all. Charles, no doubt, the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full Some people team, would blame Matinson in his first season. Out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them? Going along with those zeros in the time column, too. Some people would blame Hinson probably for his. They make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Minnesota Vikings come to town. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they'll drop to 0 and 2. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. I don't like our chances, folks, against the Colts. But I will tell you this, this game or this team has no rhythm. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Steelers. So there you have it. As I said, this team has no rhythm. This team has no rhythm. They have nothing. I don't know if it was the Steelers being better prepared in the defensive side of things. Uh, or what it was, but we need to figure out something. Our defense should not have allowed 38 freaking points. We got Julius Peppers there, for God's sakes. Who else do we have there? Do we need to figure out something? We will do that, ladies and gentlemen, and we will figure out what we're going to do and hopefully get a victory against the Indianapolis Colts. If you're new, scratch the claw marks at the bottom right hand corner. You can remember the Wolfpack fam to take sniffing by into the bell icon, become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Remember, always stay hungry, hungry like the Wolf, Wolf, Man, Lewis. Ow!